Hey everybody, Coach Jordan here. One video today, um, since our warm up and strength portion are pretty straightforward, um, and then our workout is fun and unique. Okay, so one longer video versus two shorter ones today, um, since the strength portion, I imagine everyone can do it pretty easily. So, yeah, let's do it. Um, for those of you that have been watching me, especially for like the first three or four weeks of my videos, you remember that the room was kind of tore apart because I had some water damage. Just wanted to report the room is pretty much done. You can do a quick little walk around, see the white trim, the paint is all done. I can thank Abby for that because I don't have the, the hand. Just finishing up some last minute touches with the closet. Floor is done. And then getting some flooring in the room next to us and it's done, so yay. It's gonna be awesome, I'm super excited. Okay, first minute of the video is up for that. Here's what we have. I'm gonna take a picture of this as well and so you have it separately since I have so much on the board. Okay, but here's what we have today, folks. Our warm up. we're gonna do 20 jump skips, 10 bear climbers, five good mornings. Bear climbers we did in a workout earlier this week, get them into our warm up. they're super great. Okay, Let's run through this three times. So 20 jump skips, we'll talk about that. 10 bear climbers, five good mornings. Okay, we'll go through that three times. Our workout or strength portion today is eight sets of 10 reps. So a total of 80 repetitions. Uh, should be light, should be controlled. We'll talk about what the movement is. Depending on what you have for equipment, they could be either shoulder shrugs or high pulls. Okay, so all you need to write down is eight sets of 10 reps, and then we'll talk about the movement. All right, workout. Three rounds, four time. Movements are 400 meter run, row, bike, ski. Uh, there's going to be a mountain climber option. There's going to be a running in place option. There's going to be a stairs option. Okay. 20 lying leg raises, another 400 meter run or repeating this cardio, and then 20 push ups. It's a big number. Okay. Three rounds of this 400 meter run or variation of 20 lying leg raises, 400 meter run, and then 20 push ups. All right. So let's talk about all of that, folks. I've been getting a lot of questions about my choice of attire because I wear jeans, but this is the most I've worn jeans in forever, and I have comfortable jeans, so I'm going to continue to wear them. I get a lot of flack for wearing jeans during quarantine, but they're comfy and I like them, okay? 20 jump skips. We've done these before. These essentially are a lateral movement, right? So I start by balancing on one foot, jump and skip, one, two, three, four, Five, and I would do that all the way up to 20. Okay, our bear climbers, remember it's essentially a mountain climber, but I'm jumping my feet out in front to the side, then back to my start position, then out to the front to the left. Okay, and then back to my start position. So start position right, back to start position. Start position left, back to start position is one. We'll go through that 10 total times. Okay, um, for the sake of warm up. I'll show you what I'm looking for as far as the movement and the reps. Um, go what, do what feels right. If it's a movement that feels pretty good, you can go for a few more reps. If it's a little bit tougher, you can scale it back. Okay, but a single repetition would look like this. Starting in your high plank, jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back. There's one, jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back. There's two, and I would do that for up to 10 reps or do it for about 35 to 40 seconds, whatever comes first, okay? Five good mornings, you could do those with or without weight. It's essentially just a weighted um, hinge, okay? So let me grab an object. Um, you could do this just about anything. It's essentially a Romanian deadlift as well. So if you have like a barbell um, that you can place on your back as you're hinging forward, remember slight knee bend, hips push back slightly, and I'm hinging forward the flat back, standing up. Ooh, my hamstrings are tight. Uh, you could do that for five repetitions. If you have an object, dumbbell, kettlebell, slam ball, put it out front, slight knee bend, hinge forward, and come back up, okay? So your 20 jump skips, 10 bear climbers, or about 30 seconds worth, and then five good mornings. Run through that three times, okay? Our strength portion today is either a shoulder shrug or a high pull. I'm incorporating this because it's a functional movement. Not every functional movement needs to be super glamorous and amazing, right? Sometimes it's isolating a muscle, 
uh, and doing it right. So calf raises, we do those in warm up, especially if we have running coming up. Those are a great movement to do. They're very simple. You can stay in place, just raise up on your calves. Okay. We don't really do that every day. There's not like an opportunity for us where we need to raise our body with our calves, but it helps reduce injury, prevent injuries from happening uh, and strengthening all of the muscles in the back of our leg that we use when we run, jump, skip, whatever it may be, okay? A shoulder shrug is exactly that type of movement, okay? So let me grab a set of dumbbells. If you have a set of dumbbells, kettlebells, um, this is probably gonna be ideal for those. Essentially, just watch my shoulders. I'm in a standing position. I'm just gonna shrug my shoulders up and down. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So it's a controlled movement. I'm not just like jerking the weight up and letting it fall. I'm just essentially actively pulling up and actively pulling down for 10 repetitions, okay? This comes in handy for anytime we do a pull, we're using those muscles, our traps to initiate that lift. Um, I just helped my father move this last weekend and the amount of shrugging I had to do with my shoulders, right? Lifting something up, whether it's over an edge, uh, we're picking us up off the floor. We tend to shrug with our shoulders. It's going to help strengthen that movement. Okay. Eight sets, 10 reps. This is going to feel pretty easy and pretty light for the first couple rounds. The last like four, three or four rounds are going to be tough. Okay. Rest as needed. If you don't have matching dumbbells, or you have a single object, uh, you could do a high pull. This one's a little more dynamic, say with a kettlebell or have a nice wide stance. It essentially starts with a slow motion deadlift and then I'm pulling my elbows up and out and this object to my chin. So if you have a single kettlebell, um, slam ballers, you could do a slam ball overhead, okay? Um, 80 of those might be a little much for a warm up. Uh, so let's cut that in half, okay? We'll go four sets of 10 slam balls, okay? But for you dumbbellers and kettlebellers, I would recommend the shoulder shrugs if you want something a little more dynamic. Um, or something that's gonna translate a little bit better with a barbell, you would work on some high pulls today. You could do those with a single kettlebell or a barbell, okay? Eight sets of 10 reps, it should be light, should be controlled. We're after volume today, you should be like burning and actively sweating when that's over, all right? Workout today, three rounds for time. I imagine this will take most, about 15, excuse me, 15 to 20 minutes, okay? 400 meter run, 20 line leg raises, 400 meter run, 20 push up. Okay, pretty straightforward workout as far as movements. Uh, the three rounds for time is perfect. The first round, you're gonna be tired. Second round is gonna be pretty awful. Your heart rate's gonna be super high. You're gonna feel like you haven't recovered. Then the third round, bam, just go, okay? 400 meter run, 20 line leg raises. There's a bunch of different variations you could do for this, uh, but my favorite, or what we do most often, is laying on the floor. <sighs> Essentially, you're gonna extend your heels and keep your butt on the floor as you bring your feet up. Okay, I don't wanna see anybody doing like, oof, driving like up towards the ceiling and using a bunch of momentum, All right? This is a controlled lift up and down for 20 reps, okay? And then your 20 push-ups. Push-ups pretty straightforward. It's a big number today, so no need to pump out strict push-ups if you can't. Uh, knee push-ups, warming push-ups, even a light floor press for 20 reps, excuse me, would be great as well, okay? Running options today. Make sure uh, in your warm-up, if you're going to be running, um, that's a decent amount of running. You run about a mile and a half today, uh, so make sure you get some calf raises in, maybe a quick uh, two-minute light jog, including that in your warm-up. Otherwise, row, you could up that to 500 meters if you have a bike at home. Uh, I would say bike for about two minutes uh, at a good medium pace uh, for each 400. Um, yeah. Oh, stairs. If you have stairs at home and you want to walk up and down stairs, do that for a minute and 45 seconds. Okay. 90 seconds won't be quite long enough. Two minutes be a little too long. Minute 45 for walking up and down stairs. Uh, and you could jog in place for uh, maybe don't do a full minute and a half jogging in place for whatever reason. It's just so hard. <laughs> I, I find it incredibly difficult. If you find it easy, you can go a full two minutes, but anywhere from a minute and a half, uh, or excuse me, a minute and 15 to a minute and a half is where most people will be for that, okay? All we're focusing on is just a 
cardio movement, something steady for those 400s, right? A minute and a half to two minutes for most movements. If you're not running, that's fine. There's lots of other things to do out there, walking up and down stairs. If you're gonna do mountain climbers today, uh, I would sub in about 50 mountain climbers per run. So that way you're not doing like several hundred. Okay, you're doing a few hundred over the course of 15 minutes. Okay, so if you need running variations, please let me know. Otherwise, um, I will post a photo um, in the email or the Facebook group that you see this. Um, so if you have any questions about the warm up strength portion or workout, please let me know. All right. Happy Wednesday, friends. Happy hump day. Get after your fitness today.